We admire and are impressed by the pyramids, temples and palaces, which are the works of the first civilizations of history. It is of course surprising that such marvelous artifacts emerged with the technologies of that period. The pyramids of Giza or Teotihuacan, the ziggurats of the cities of Ur and Uruk were symbols of eternal power, of state stability and permanence. These structures and symbols led the ruling classes to believe that they were eternal. However, the social forces on which these symbols of power were based entered deep crises over time. The cities created by the first civilizations of Mesopotamia were engaged in endless wars with each other around 2300 BC. However, an emperor named Sargon united the Fertile Crescent under an empire and put an end to this conflictual environment. In ancient Egypt, the Old Kingdom caused deep rifts in the social sphere due to a civil war that lasted between 2181 to 2040 BC. The Indus cities were abandoned due to the conflicts around 1500 BC. In 1400 BC, the Cretan civilization disintegrated due to the conflictual environment and was replaced by the Mycenaean civilization. Many factors that caused crisis and conflict in the first civilizations of history are open to historical interpretation. As social resources were spent more on the ruling class and the monuments belonging to this class, the luxury consumption of the upper classes increased and attempts to seize products from producers intensified. At the same time, trade networks extending to distant regions also developed. State administrators in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, instead of maintaining the agricultural system, ensured that the collected products were delivered to the centers connected to the palace and engaged in construction works. Therefore, there was a serious state pressure on agricultural products. In addition to this, wars between city-states in Mesopotamia and wars with other civilized societies should also be added. The ruling classes acquired enormous power and wealth over time. In connection with this, craftsmen and laborers working for palaces and temples learned new techniques and developed the use of metals such as copper and bronze. However, the peasants did not have access to these new techniques and new tools. The ruling classes achieved enormous power and wealth through the exploitation of the masses. This system of exploitation increased with the construction of enormous structures such as temples and palaces. This led to stagnation in the production of means of subsistence for the rest of society. The ruling classes realized their power over the masses by spreading superstitions. These superstitions include the Sumerian kings and Egyptian pharaohs who attributed godlike powers to themselves. These ruling classes no longer saw the need to attach importance to scientific development and cared less about encouraging scientific endeavors. In this historical period they were limited to the knowledge of the early stages of the urban revolution and treated it with religious reverence. Science was transformed into scholasticism, scholasticism into magic. The ruling classes were now trying to prevent new advances. But their livelihoods were not sufficient for a large part of the population without such advances. The greed of the ruling classes necessarily depleted social resources. The stagnation of scientific endeavors led to a decrease in the water level of the Nile River in ancient Egypt, which led to irrigation problems. The same problem led to the collapse of the Mayan civilization in Mesoamerica around 1200 BC. Before 1200 BC, the Mayan civilization had a growing ruling class with various servants and other members of the emerging middle class. This ruling class led to increased pressure on society as a whole. In the late classical period of the Maya civilization, social and technological innovations were not realized. In these dark ages, class struggles took place between the ruling class and the dependent peasants. In fact, the emergence of this situation was a necessity. Because the impoverishment of the exploited classes, who were responsible for feeding the rest of the society, had led to a forced conflict of interest between different classes. The ruling classes controlled the vast majority of society. This is shown in ancient tomb paintings and temple inscriptions. 
The masses of the people, subservient to the upper classes, are depicted serving them. However, the collapse of the Old Kingdom in ancient Egypt is believed to have been brought about by a social revolution. In a text called Epure's Admonitions, servant girls are depicted as replacing their mistresses and government officials are forced to do the bidding of rude men. The same phenomenon was also found in the Teotihuacan and Maya civilizations in Mesoamerica. It is stated that peasant uprisings often occurred in the collapse of these civilizations. These tensions were not only between the peasants and the ruling classes. There were also tensions among the ruling classes themselves. As secular administration and wars gained importance in Mesopotamia, new aristocracy began to emerge in addition to priests and kings. Likewise, in Mesoamerica, the warrior elite class came to wield increasing power. In ancient Egypt, Kings were dependent on priests and administrators for the management of the Nile Valley and for the continuous flow of food, supplies, and labor to the capital. To win the loyalty of these groups, kings granted them land. These groups cultivated agricultural crops on the land given by the kings and obtained surplus products. Thanks to the surplus products, these groups became independent from the central monarch. The strengthening of these local groups led them to exert more pressure on the peasants, and they now had the power to rebel against the kings. This situation in ancient Egypt led to a situation of civil war as the rulers and priests in the provinces put their own interests ahead of those of the central monarchy. Divisions within the ruling class led to the development of new dependent classes. As productivity increased, some of the people working in the fields became free. This created groups of specialized artisan workers. New labor groups such as carpenters, stonemasons, leather craftsmen, metal workers emerged. In most of the first civilizations, the merchant class started to develop alongside the artisan class. Trade was an activity previously carried out in pre-class societies. However, the trade activity in this period, the consumption of luxury goods by the developing ruling classes and the search for raw materials for the construction of temples and palaces increased the importance of trade. The existing ruling class did not have the power and wisdom to eliminate widespread hunger and misery in society. But there were no social groups with this ability either. When the exploited masses revolted, they destroyed not only the ruling classes but also most of the structures and activities of society. This situation both stagnated scientific developments and led to the decline of society. In the first dark ages of history, the result was the collapse of civilizations such as Crete, Mycenae, Egypt, and Maya, which caused people to return to a life consisting only of agriculture and the abandonment of cities and the disappearance of developing cultures. The ruling classes, who once played a role in the development of productive forces, now prevented the development of these productive forces and threw society into chaos. The changes of power in the Egyptian and Mesopotamian civilizations and the influx of wealth through foreign conquests had eliminated the social economic crisis for a few centuries. However, the root causes of the depression were not eliminated. The societies of these civilizations lacked the innovative power of the early years of the urban revolution. They progressed too slowly and entered destructive crises too quickly. New conquerors emerged in Mesopotamia who established large centralized empires. These conquerors overtaxed the resources of society and emptied the state treasuries. Consequently, the central rulers allowed local aristocrats to maintain order in their areas. As a result, empires collapsed, either through the revolt of an internal military leader or through the conquest of an external conqueror. Ancient Egypt was protected from external conquest for several centuries by the deserts. In the years 1700 to 1600 BC, foreign influences came more into play. The Hyksos from Palestine established themselves as pharaohs. In southern Egypt, the Nubian kingdom established its sovereignty. 
In conclusion, it is clear that the early Dark Ages hindered the development of movements and processes in the development of human history. This situation may have caused people to miss many opportunities both technologically and scientifically. People, in the thrall of their own selfishness and narrow perspectives, have hindered the positive development of the whole history of mankind.